and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Dum, dum. material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives.
reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broad broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. addition to the Black Mesa team. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. What's, in, what's the next step, Freeman? You're late enough as it is. Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Uh, can we do this later?
Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too. I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Give me some space, Freeman. Can this wait? We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Later, Gordon. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Jay Raddick, network team. Please call 470. <laughs> What are you doing still running around up here? We've been waiting all morning to begin the experiment. Gordon, please, go do what you've been hired to do. Shouldn't you be doing- hey, It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Martel, Martel, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. Freeman, this is not how you go about getting my attention. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? This very instant. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. I'm rather busy now. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Maybe later, Gordon. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence, I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of the Mikolaki. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence.
Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Can this wait? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Well, please excuse me, Gordon. It's cold in here. I've got this under control, Gordon. Can you access the mail server? Hello. You'll just Go have to wait until else. after the test. Gordon, I'm busy. Hello, Dr. Cross. Just a minute, Gordon. the debugging procedure coming along I'm not at all sure we can talk at lunch Gordon they need you in the test chamber Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. Sorry, buddy, but those are the rules. Would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Not now, Gordon. Big day today, eh, Freeman? I'm rather busy now. Good morning, Gordon. Can't you see I'm busy? Get your thrills elsewhere, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Just hold on for... A moment. You forgot to carry the tube. 
Or was it the three? I can't be bothered right now. Somebody get me a calculator. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. And what in the blue place is a, is a raffle copter? Hold, just hold on for one moment. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? <laughs> you got the wrong air like Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. We can't let you through. Not with the big brother watching. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double chefs are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. I trust this morning find you well. Can this wait till I'm off break? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis, preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? 
Gordon, this had better be important. Mm hmm. I thought not. We can talk later, Gordon. Toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. I am back. Reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Lost Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock.
right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Can't cut that shit out, will ya? Well, get going. Hello, old chum. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> and I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Uh, hold we can talk uh, later, Gordon. Hold on for one moment. Give me some space, Freeman. This had better be important. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. What's up, Doc? Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me, no sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. I sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but the quarks do and that's the important thing. Don't you have some buttons to push or something? Hey, catch me later. We'll we'll talk about that science stuff some more. I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I'm on duty right now. Ah, Freeman. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. 
Can't you see I'm Just busy? a minute, Gordon. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Do you mind if I ask you a hypothetical question? I'm not at all sure. the mail server? I have no doubt. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. A bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned if we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Gordon, it's high time to start the experiment. Get to the test chamber at once. We've already had to cover for your tardiness. Don't waste any more of our time, Dr. Freeman. You don't want to be responsible for holding up the entire lab, do you? Everyone upstairs is waiting for the experiment's results. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red calamity, I'm not interested. They need you in the test chamber. Didn't you read my latest? Yes. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to change. Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Go bother someone else, Gordon. I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. 
Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Can this wait? There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Maybe later, Gordon. Dr. Freeman. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Certainly looking forward to the end of today, aren't you? Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon... We have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Probably 
not a problem, probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier to the analysis port. What is he doing in there? It's nothing you need to worry about. Uh, go ahead, Gordon. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. 
by Schrodinger's cat. He's alive. Gordon! Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Uh. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. Believe me, I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? 